I've been filling my own cartridges for these inkjet printers for about 15 years. In this video, I'm gonna go through the process because there's a few little tips and techniques that you're gonna need to know in order to have it done successfully. Until you know a few of these, it can be really frustrating and sometimes it just doesn't work. Over the years, I've used a variety of different inks and a lot of the ink doesn't really make that big of a difference. When you fill these cartridges, you wanna put the syringe in and push really slow because you want full saturation into the sponges. If you watch carefully, you can see that the ink is starting to make the sponge a little darker as you push the syringe. Now what I'm looking for is one drop to drop through the bottom into the sink. Then I know I'm done. But I don't wanna rush the process. I wanna make sure that I'm putting the ink in slow to make sure I get full saturation. If you look at the bottom, you can start to see a little drip start to form. I don't want it to pour out the bottom. I just want one drip to let me know that I have full saturation. Okay, right about there, we got it. Now that I've got enough ink in the system, I wanna make sure that I clean my equipment so it's clean for next time. Just draw the water up and then go ahead and push it and get everything clean. And once the water's clean, then you can go ahead and put everything away. Once you draw this up a couple times, you can go ahead and empty the cup and put some fresh water in just so you can see that everything's clean. Just take your time. It may take a couple times to get everything all cleaned up, but just make sure that everything's clean and put away for next time. I do find that a smaller syringe works better because you can work it with one hand rather than with two. Lately, I've been working with the CIS inks, but like I said, there's a lot that do work. The next step that I'm gonna share with you is probably one of the most important. When you put the cartridge in, let it sit overnight. Don't start doing head cleans and all that stuff until 24 hour passes. All you're gonna do is suck ink out of your cartridge. So let it sit 24 hours, give it a clean, and then run your test part. Well, hope these techniques were useful. And I appreciate your time and thanks for watching.